Hello, my name is Alice Monua, and today we're going to talk about high cholesterol. You know, when you have too much fat in your bloodstream. So we know that high cholesterol, for most part, um, when they go to the doctor and they are told that they have high cholesterol, usually we have to do a diet change. Uh, we tell people to exercise. We tell people to take medication. But nobody ever really goes deeper to find out what is going on within the body. So we change the diet. And actually the diet is not even a problem. Did you know that only 20% of the cholesterol that you eat gets absorbed into your body? Did you also know that your body actually makes cholesterol? Yes, your body naturally makes cholesterol. Now the problem comes when it makes too much because about 80 percent of all the cholesterol that the body needs and uses because cholesterol is used for to make new body cells is used to make new proteins is uh, used to make um, the immune system the cells that work with the immune system cholesterol is used in everything that the body needs that's why you see children don't have high cholesterol and if you see a child uh, having high cholesterol, something is wrong. The reason why children don't develop high cholesterol is because their body is growing. So they need a lot of cholesterol to be able to grow and grow properly. Now the problem happens when you're already grown and you're producing too much cholesterol. Because as, as I told you, your body can produce and it does produce cholesterol. And actually, 80% of all the cholesterol you see in your body is produced by your liver. So the question comes, why is your liver producing too much cholesterol? The answer to that is your, your body produces too much cholesterol when you are under stress. And most people, when you hear the word stress, most people don't even pay attention. They think it's something that you're imagining that is something that's not real but stress is actually very real stress comes when you have something bothering you when something is not when your mental body which is your soul is not at ease and what is your soul your soul is your mind your will and your emotions that comes from your thoughts if you're having troubling thoughts if you're having negative thoughts if you're having angry thoughts it is the fire that's burning within your soul that causes you to produce too much cholesterol. So if you know that, then you would know that you need to balance your thoughts. You need to choose good thoughts. You need to work on your fear. If you're having fearful thoughts, you need to work on that. And you cannot work on fear if you don't have faith. Because fear comes from lack of faith. And that's why we have to get deep into the word of God because faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing the word of God more than once. It has to be a daily thing that you do to develop your faith. When you have enough faith, you will not fear. The other thing is anger. Anger can cause you to produce a lot of cholesterol. When you live with people who make you angry, when you work in a job where you have toxic people, or let's say you also work in a, in a job that you don't like, a job that doesn't nourish your soul, a job that is not in line with your calling in life, that can cause you to produce too much cholesterol. So let's look at the meds that we give people. Normally we give people statins. Statins work really good because what they do, they go to stop that natural process that's going on in your liver. They go to stop it. But you see, it's a natural process, and we are trying to stop it. And with that, when you're trying to stop it with medication, you, you can develop side effects, because every medication we give you has side effects. Now, some of the serious side effects that you get from taking statins, uh, muscle weakness, this, this one is a serious one, muscle tenderness, muscle pain, to a point that people stop taking medication because they, they cannot handle it. Is it is too much pain. Um, these medications can also cause liver damage. They can cause uh, inflammation of the liver. Because remember, 
the medication goes to work in the river to stop a natural process from occurring. There's one thing people could do that can help them reduce cholesterol. That is prayer. Yes, you heard me. Prayer. And then when you combine prayer with fasting, it actually works good. You want to bring your cholesterol down, do fasting. It will use all that, your body will use all that extra cholesterol that you have. And then prayer is going to soothe your soul. Prayer will give you peace of mind. And when you combine it with fasting, whatever it is that's bothering you, you'll find the right answers on how to deal with the problem that's bothering you. And you'll find that you have a peace of mind and then your body will start working in a balanced way. Your body is not going to produce too much cholesterol. So now I know we tell people to eat a low fat diet, but actually the, the, the river, your river is producing most of the cholesterol that causes problems. So I hope that helps. Thank you.